in Share With Pains. I'm with Phil. I'm with Phil. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on gravel bikes. And today, we want to see how far we can push our gravel bikes. There's a couple of different trails here. We've got green trails, blue trails, and red trails. We're going to ride one of each, and we're going to see how the bikes handle. But more than that, we're going to see how enjoyable it is. Can you take a gravel bike to a mountain bike park and have fun? I'll show you the bikes that we have. This is my bike. This is a Cannondale Topstone 2. It has this beautiful pearlescent paint, which is probably the main reason that I got it. Basically, it's got a GRX group set. It's got 600 on the back, 600 up there, and then some 400 parts. This is a weird crank set from FSA that I need to replace, but I have an upgrade video coming for this bike that I'll talk about later. The wheels are from Hunt. They're fairly cheap, uh, Four Seasons Gravel Extra Wide wheels. And then the tires are Specialized Pathfinder Pros. And that's pretty much it. This bike, very similar to your bike, <laughs> but specialized and won by. That's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty similar. Similar tires, but Schwalbe's instead of whatever yours are. And um, yeah, some fairly lightweight aluminium 700s. So yeah, these bikes are very similar, aren't they? They're basically both about the same price, both pretty much the same components, although you have got a GRX crank set and you've put a one by one on the front but the rear mech and everything is exact, exactly the same. We're going to hit the trail, so I'm going to lose some pressure. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. Just going to guess well, what 20 PSI is, I think. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the green route, which is not really a mountain bike trail. It's kind of like a family trail, um, very much suited to these bikes. We're going to start on that, and then after that, we're going to do the blue route. <laughs> cyclist with a mountain bike with basic off-road riding skills <laughs> actually mountain bikes or hybrids suitable for yeah mountain bikes or hybrids so technically i'd call my mum an intermediate hybrid rider yeah. yeah so this this should be absolutely fine for us yeah you need a good standard a good standard of fitness can help it's, it's just a suggestion <laughs> Yeah, cool. So we are going to go and do the blue Robin Hood cycle trail. No one's ever read that sign before. Let's go. <laughs> At Sherwood Pines, and we'll see how the gravel bikes handle it. I think Blue Route definitely feasible on a gravel bike. It probably would have been more enjoyable on an XC bike, but probably not by that much. But it's just you hit these bumps and it's just as uncomfortable on these bikes without any suspension. You've actually you've got an XC bike, right? And you come and yeah. you've, you've ridden these trails before on that bike. So I guess you do have a direct comparison. They feel just just smooth and comfortable because these are actually quite well made trails. Um, you're going with loads of confidence on the gravel bike. You, your contact point is so much 
and you hit something, you hit a little root and you're in the air on a gravel bike where it's suspension, you know, you're still hitting the corner. But I washed out on one of them because I was like, I can't turn at that point because I come off the bike. So I just had to go into the grass at the side. Yeah, and an XC bike is definitely the right bike for these. I don't think that we're suggesting it's not, but it's more how capable are these gravel bikes? And if this is all you've got, can you come and ride these trails and have fun? And if it's a blue trail, yeah, 100%. You could definitely come here and have fun. Grant, are you a proficient mountain biker <laughs> with good off-road skills? Um, and do you have a bike suitable for better quality for off-road mountain? Definitely not a trail for gravel bikes, but we're gonna try it and see how we get on. This should be fun. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't fun. If I was running tubes, I'd have got like five punctures just yeah. bottoming out. Yeah, these bikes are not made for that. If you were doing it as part of a tour and you just needed to get through it, it would be quite like fine. Absolutely fine, yeah. Gunning it through because you're having a good time. I was just saying to Phil, it's really good for your bike handling skills because I don't mountain bike. This The gravel bike is the closest thing I've ever come. And so as a road cyclist, I just never develop my bike handling skills because you're always just riding in a straight line. I feel like I'm learning something. Um, the blue route was more fun though. This was less fun. Are we still on it? We're still on red. This, this next bit's really good. But uh, Good on what bike? <laughs> about to find out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Last bit of red. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, we have now completed the green, the blue, and the red route. And here is my conclusion. The green route is amazing and it's basically made for gravel bikes. Being able to ride here from home, do a lap of the green route, and then ride home again, amazing. The blue route, if I had slightly wider tires and a little bit less pressure, I think it's a lot of fun. If this is all you've got, then it's a great way to spend an afternoon. The red route, just don't bother on these bikes. Do you have anything else to add? With a really extreme gravel bike setup, like leaf spring and 650Bs on mountain bike tires, most of the red will be quite fun. But on a normal gravel bike setup, just hurts the hands a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I am, I'm glad I put these gloves on today. I just got these gloves. I've never really worn gloves before. But I think it was the right day to start wearing them. Well, that was a fun experiment. Should we get home? Yeah, next week. Bike Park Wales. Bike Park Wales. <laughs> uh, we have 25k? Mm. Yeah, we got a little 30k? Hour. Something like that. Back. On 5 PSI in my time. <laughs> yeah. I think the overall thing to note is gravel bikes are just so capable and actually should probably be called adventure bikes or something else because gravel is just a really poor term. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.